I don't know if you have one of these Jettas like this and you have the door handle thing like that, you're gonna find out that you're gonna have some trouble getting these door handles off sometimes. And what happened with me is I took this screw out too far because I had to, you have to wiggle this thing around a lot to get it out. And you might be like me and it might be just stuck in there really bad and you're trying to fight with it, trying to get it out. And you'll end up taking this screw where my thumb is out too far. Well, if you do that, it's going to, this little bracket right here is going to come out. And this spring is going to come off. So I want you to look at that really carefully. If yours came out, the spring goes underneath here. Like this. And then there's a little groove in there for the thing. So you put that down in there. And then if your screw is out too far, so like if I take this thing out further than this, it will come past this little, let's get you up close so you can see. It'll come out past that little tab there. And then how this thing works is this ring right here turns, okay? And that's what locks your door handle thing here into place. So let's look at this here. You've got this piece goes in here like that and it barely fits if you can see these little tabs if it's not all the way out if this thing isn't all the way out these little tabs that are on here won't go past that ring all right and and what you're fighting with is these little tabs when you're going to pull it out are getting caught on your ring because there isn't much tolerance here this is a Volkswagen they never give you any tolerance so it's kind of a poorly designed part in my opinion but so often you're gonna take the screw out too far to try and wiggle this guy you have to wiggle this thing around a lot to get it out and if you do this ring is gonna be coming it's gonna come out and that goes in by putting it in straight it goes in straight and this it'll go in like you put this end in first and you'll put this push this end in and then you turn it and then you're gonna have to line this screw up with that slot right there if you see that get you guys up really close you see that slot the screw goes in that slot and that's what allows this thing to turn. And bring it back away. It allows this thing to turn. So as you tighten this down, this ring turns. Okay, and then it locks over those little tiny tabs there. One here and one down here. So when you tighten this, it just tightens this ring around and locks those two tabs. And that's what keeps this thing in place. It's really easy to get for this to happen. That's why I'm making this video. And this is how you reassemble it. See the spring goes underneath. It took me like 20 minutes. So I figure it'll help somebody else out. And then, cause it just was just all, in, it just all came out. It just was all, this was off. I couldn't see how it went. And there's two little lock tabs for these springs. You push it, squeeze them together. And there's two little lock tabs under there. And then these two sort of hook somewhere here. And they have to be there because it's it's how that, I don't know, the spring loading thing, when you pull the handle, your handle won't pull back if it's not right. So anyway. 
So you see right here how this goes. Uh, if you can even see that. It goes underneath. And then when this ring is sideways, okay, it goes underneath this thing. So when this ring turns straight, this thing will just come back and be able to be thing the right way. So then put your thing in here, check it and make sure that your tabs are not gonna bump into the little set ring before you reassemble it. And then, so now I know when I put this back in, okay, I put this back in place right here and I'm gonna put this in like this slide it over put my little rubber band there's just a little rubber band that holds it in place make sure my cable is through the hole so I can reach it right here where's the cable now my cable's inside the hole. You can see that. Uh, the cable's inside the hole. Now I'm ready to reassemble the door. So I know that this thing will slide in all the way. I know there's going to be a ton of people with this problem. So that's why, like I said, I made this video because I'm like, there's going to be a ton of people that you're going to go to put this thing back in and it's not going to line up and the reason it's not lined up is because you took the screw out too far which is just too easy to do there's not really a stop on it and guys are saying turn, turn it two or three turns you got to turn it a lot of turns okay and then till it starts to kind of slow down and if you don't if you don't take it out that far those little lock tabs will hold it in place and you probably have to take this all apart just to check this stuff before you actually put this thing back together. So that's how it works. Now I'm ready to reassemble. I can put the door panel back on and I know that this thing will go in place. Because without taking this all apart, I could never, it just wasn't going to line up. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let's hope that helps you. Um, at least you can see how it's assembled so you can figure it out by just looking at the video and kind of seeing where this spring goes and all that because if yours just popped all apart like mine did um it's going to take you 20 minutes or so so anyway talk to you next video please like share and subscribe